Now, continuing from the last video, we talked about changes in uh, equilibrium spending. Now, what do you think will happen if we have a change in the marginal propensity to spend, or as we prefer to use Z? Instead of changing AE, what will changing Z achieve in Y new? So, I already drew this graph for us, and what it shows is the AE versus Y graph, and this is our uh, AE equals Y, kind of our equilibrium line, and this is what we have from our old AE old. So this is, that, that line is this. And when we increased AE to 40, our line could, could have been something like this or AE new, or AE new, AE new is equal to 40 plus 0.8Y. So that's 0.8Y. So what would happen if we made a change to Z? And remember, when we change the Z, what happens is the line doesn't shift. It pivots on 30. So let's work that out right now. So we have AE equals Y, like we usually start off with, and we make AE equals to AE naught plus Z Y equals Y. Now we want to we want Y to be uh, two hundred, and we want to keep AE the same. So we want y to be 200, 200, and we want AE, AE not to be the same. So the only thing we can really change is z. Now, if we bring over 30 to the other side, we'll have, uh, we'll have 200 z. We'll have let's, that's not a z. Let's change it to a 200, 200 z. We have a 200 Z equals to 170 because 200 minus 30 is 170. So with 200 Z uh, equals 170. So if we divide 200 by both sides, we get Z equals 170 over 200, or we get 0 0.85. Now, before I go any further, I just want you to tell, just want to tell you that right here, this is the old equilibrium spending or yeah the old equal no that's the old equilibrium uh, income or output and this is the old equilibrium uh, old equilibrium spending a e bar this was our new equilibrium spending and our new uh, equilibrium uh, or that's our new equilibrium income. Keep on getting it mixed up. This is our new equilibrium spending when we increase AE. Now, what happens when we increase Z in, instead? So, what will happen is we'll have the green here. This line it pivots on the on thirty because we didn't really change AE, right? So all we change is Z. All we changed is the the, the slope. So this green line is, uh, let's call it a new, uh, yeah, let's call it a e uh, new, a e new prime. Let's call it a e new prime, and and it will equal to thirty plus point zero point eight five y because really we didn't really change uh, a e naught. It stayed the same. We're pivoting on thirty, so we're pivoting. And we calculated that the slope is actually 0 0.85. So then the slope is uh, 0 0.05 uh, more than than our AE old, and that's that's how the that's how it look that's how the new line looks like, and that's all I wanted to show you in this video.